whatever you do, never, never ever, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. What's going on? Walk from a vehicle, vehicle pick up a hitchhiker. hitchhiker. Pick, up, pick up a hitchhiker. Start. I am the hitchhiker. Oh. Yeah. So, we played part one of this. Fears to bad. One of this was home alone. Someone broke into my house. Oh no, no, no. And not only that, the nosy neighbor who I thought was actually being a little too nosy actually turned out to be my savior. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. I didn't actually see what who broke in, but I believe it's um a crazy ex-girlfriend. I didn't break it, you broke it. You broke my window, you broke my TV. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we're checking out part two. This is the Norway hitchhiker. The Norway hitchhike. Another true story. Don't pick up anybody on the side of the road. Let's go. Adam, episode two, Norwood hitchhike. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little. Yeah, it does help to get your feelings out. I was one of those people who loves gaming conventions. So do I. I'd go to every convention I get a chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going interstate drives, plane ticket would, would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'll take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hours. I drove to Florida once. From Maryland? Yeah, never again. Okay. Here we are driving. We're driving. Oh, well, we can get out? Okay. Yeah, we can get out. I didn't know that. I was checking all my stuff here. Okay, what happened to my vehicle? All right. Uh, I don't know why I pulled over. Let's see if I can keep driving. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, I'm driving off the road. I need focus. What do you mean, stuck in the biggest traffic? Jam? Oh! What happened? What happened? How do I get out of this? What the heck? Just kick me out? Why are you texting me while I'm driving? Do I need to pull over? Let me see if I can pull over and read these messages. Because the last time I think I just stopped in the middle of the road. Okay. Let's see, Dad. Don't forget to call. Drive safely, Holly. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. What did Hayden say? What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You've got to do what you got to do. That's true. All right. He used to play Gran Turismo. Yeah, I sucked at that game. <laughs> dad again? Come on, Dad. I'm driving. What is up? Can you just call me? Even now, I try not to text and drive when I when I am driving. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Who? What do we have here? Who? Oh, sorry. Let's see. Is this a gas station? It looks like this might be a gas station. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There's a gas station. I'm sorry. I'm just driving handling. I am not the best at it. This light is bright. All right, let's get out. Who's inside this store? Let's see. We got a clerk and a customer, it looks like. Let's talk to the clerk first. Ma'am, hi. Can I get 
ten dollars and pump two. Mom and dad keep texting me. You're heading to the bridge by yourself. The bridge? Ye the bridge? The Norway Valley Bridge, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. You got it. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Say what? I don't want to go missing. And people who went looking for them never return. Locals say that the Norway Valley monster has torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Okay. There's a monster hanging people upside down. Does he skin them too? Well, thanks for the gas. Can I see the toilet? Cool. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I'll stay away from the valley. Can I get anything from here? Throw this. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Throw it. Can I talk to this guy? Where is he at? Hey, hey, buddy. What's going on? You heard about the Norway Valley Monster? How's your night going? Hey, I want to know more about this Norway Valley Monster. Huh? The Norway Valley Monster. You know what I... Anything about it? Big mistake. Um, sure. You are no help whatsoever. Get your... Anyway. Who? can buy stuff. Okay, I want a soda. Consume. Alright, um, do I have to buy anything? And I guess we can get back on the road. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Roger that. I'll be sure not to stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Okay. Whatever you do, never ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there are on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't. Woman in the blue? What if she like just runs upon me now? Can I avoid her? I don't know if you're fine if you'll find any shops at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for Milo? No. Milo, you're just gonna have to starve tonight. I'm trying to make it home alive. You're gonna have to eat some leftovers. For real, Miles. We in the right spot? To get my gas? Yes. Got my gas. I filled the tank up and was off the road again. What was that? Thought I saw something. Since my mom asked, I'd buy something for Milo from the store. No! Oh gosh. Guess I don't have a choice, Milo. This is what I'm talking about. The longer you're out here in the middle of the night, more chances you got something going wrong. Where's the dog food at? It don't look like dog food. Oh, there it is. Don't need that. Let's get this for my dog. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Pay you. Good. Can I get a receipt? All right, let's go. Got my doggy food for Milo. Milo, if this thing gets me, swear to God, I'm gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's sticking out. All right, off we go. So don't stop for a woman in a blue or white dress. And not only that, just just don't stop for anyone. 
being on the road, do you realize a thing? Monsters truly do exist. They do. Single looking just like, oh mom, mom just texted me again. They want me to crash. They keep texting me while I'm driving. Uh-oh, why am I to my light? Making our way downtown. So if I see the lady in the blue dress, what do I do? He said to Florida, do, do not, not stop. stop. What if she's standing in front of a vehicle? Do, do not, not stop. stop. What if she uh, jumps on the vehicle? Not oh, roadblock. Oh, no. The road is blocked. Dang it. This is a setup. This is right out of a horror movie. Come on, get this out of the way. Get it out of the way. No, not the other way. You're going the wrong way. What is... What is going on? Okay, move. Move, move it. Move you out of the way. Why are they moving... Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, come on. What is going on? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Don't tell me this thing. What is going on? Why can my vehicle won't start? Start back up. Come on now. Oh no. <laughs> come on, come on now. It was just running just fine. Now I'm stranded. I am the hitchhiker. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. 10.23 p.m. Oof, oof, oof. Nothing good happens at night. I saw a car near. Oh shucks. Oh shucks. Let me, let me get in the car. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Well, you don't pick up your hitchhikers. You don't trust anybody out there. 10.43 p.m. It's another vehicle that's gonna come by, and this time, it'll be the monster. This time, it's gonna be your worst nightmare. I'm stuck on this, this dark road. Oh, here's another vehicle. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Help me out! Uh-oh, he stopped. Oh. Oh. He stopped. He stopped. Uh-oh. Do I, do I go to him? Or them? Oh no. I'm gonna end up in the back of this pickup. Please don't, please don't hurt me. Oh, it's the same guy from the store. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car is out, yeah. Can you call for help? There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Hurry up. Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. I 
I only had two hands, so I can only take two things. <laughs> okay. Toss them in there. Dark road. No telling what this man's going to do to you. What other stuff am I missing? Oh, my hat. My skateboard. Okay. Hat and my skateboard. Yeah, that's important when you're stranded on the side of the road. All right, let's see if that works. Nope. <laughs> okay. What else do I need? Hurry up. I need to get moving. I'm done. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Okay. Please don't kill me. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. How do I survive him? I survived episode one. <laughs> Might not survive this guy. Too close to him. So, you won't tell me who you are. Where are you going? I'd rather not say, if that's okay. I live really close from here. Don't tell him that. I was driving home. Don't tell him that either. I'd rather not say, that's right. If you say so, I don't trust you. Kind of brushed me off in the store, you jerk. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How is that? What is that supposed to mean? Do you have any clue what happened to your car back there? You're asking too many questions now, ma'am. It's, it's an old car. I, I don't know. I never broke down. My dad's, uh, my dad's car. It's pretty old. Any more questions, man? How far are we from this town? This is this is a scary thing to go through. Like seriously, even for a dude, I wouldn't want to get in a stranger's car. So, what do you think about what he told you back at this gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. It was funny. There's nothing funny about it. Interesting, yeah. He creeped me out. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. He is the monster. You're the monster, aren't you? So, is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself. But there are... There are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and they don't bother you. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay. <laughs> okay, um... Oh my God. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. You think? Get me out of this car. Come on, pull over. I'll walk to the next station. Oh no, it's getting dark. He's having his way. 12.08 AM. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Great. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Well, you, you really trying to creep me out in this town. I am never going to another convention again. Not here? No. -uh. All right, we're at the motel, and they have roadside assistance. Hey, help me fix my car. That man was putting out there creep, creepy vibe, creepiest vibes. 
Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? What? <laughs> How much is it for a room? Uh, yes. I'm only going to be there just for a few hours. Yeah. $40 for a single room. Okay. Okay, great. Pay cash only. Alright. Give me this room. Room number nine. Right over there. Talk about my car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay. I'm going to take care of my car and I'm going to get some rest. Good. I'll let you, I'll let Tommy know. Great. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I don't give a f You don't say. Okay. I got my key. Room nine. Where is that? Seven. Eight. Nine. All right. Can I lock the door? Okay. What the hell? Where's the bed at? What? Wait a second. What is up with my bed? Couldn't just go in another room. Let's go talk to this guy. The mattress is gone. How do you expect me to sleep? Oh, I got a text message too. Was that dad? Not delivery. I may have to stay at a motel tonight. Blah, blah, blah. Dude. Right over there, the room number nine is. Yeah, I know. What happened to the mattress? Oh my god. Do I have to go look for it myself? Couldn't have slept there. Oh my gosh. Up in the sky. Oh, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Oh, cool. That's Superman on TV. the nerve to ask me what am I doing what are you doing here you scared the crap out of me I should be asking you that I'm Tommy room service here at the roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood what were you doing what are you doing in my bathroom where's my mattress can you answer that you know cleaning stuff Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I just get I just get my stuff, okay. Dude. You Oh my god, he got a creepy smile too. I don't trust you at all. Get out of here. Ask him for another. Where my stuff at? Did I leave it? Leave it over here. All right, here's all my stuff. Okay. Can you get out of my room now? I had a word with Joe about the situation. Can you fix my ride? What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. 
But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. Okay. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. Great. No service anywhere. What are y'all good for? We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately here. Hee hee hee. But you have a good night. Get out of here. Get your get your way out of here. Oh my god. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. This is not good at all. Can I go to sleep? Boy, they actually got Superman playing. <laughs> I've been paying it to the that's why I lay down and go to sleep. Okay. Phone's not working. I got a dial tone. Oh my god. What are they doing through my window? Oh, I couldn't help shake the feeling that some something wasn't right. Yeah, something was definitely wrong. This dude was just creeping at, staring at me through my window. Can I close the blinds? No, can't close. This dude. Is anybody else in here? Nothing else. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. Close you. I need to close these blinds. Turn on that TV. I don't need that right now. I can't lock the door. So that's it's not good. Go back to sleep. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. I need to get some coffee. Okay. Where do I get coffee? Can my night get any worse? My car broke down. I had a bummer ride from a creepy guy. Now I'm at this creepy motel with all these creepy people. Everything's just creepy. Where did I get coffee? Still looking. Was this a coffee machine? There it is. Get me a French vanilla. No, they don't have that. Cappuccino, espresso, and the strong stuff. Give me a shot of espresso. Consume. Okay. Uh. Where am I? What happened? Did they drug me? The controls are inverted. I got drugged. It looked like they drugged me. Daddy! Gosh. 
I need to go to sleep. The, they, were, they put something in the coffee machine? Or was I just not feeling good? 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Oh. Who's that? Who's that in the room? There's somebody in the room. Somebody was just walking back here. Did this really happen to someone? My God, like where do you go from there? You should never ever go to a convention in this area again, ever. Anyway, that's the Norwood hitchhike. If, in, if this was an actual true story, how did, they, how did they drug the coffee? Like I guess somebody had to be working there to do it. Or either the vending person did it. Where did this happen? Probably will never find that out. That is unsettling nonetheless. Want anybody breaking into your motel room, breaking into your home, just breaking into your personal space. You don't want that. I thought the guy that gave her the ride was the monster. And apparently it was someone else. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for joining me. That's the episode two of uh, Fear is the Fathom. Let's check out episode three in a couple days. All right, what do you say? Let's do it. See y'all in the next one. Take care. Peace.